it's a scorcher out here today. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So this is part two of my video series of string trimmer reviews. My first string trimmer review, I showed you how each one of these string trimmers load. There's a link below to that or you can watch this quick little video right here. Well, if that's not enough, click the link below. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about power of these string trimmers. Everyone cares about power. So the six brands we're looking at today are right here. I've got Still, I've got Ego, I've got Dewalt, Ryobi, Greenworks, and Milwaukee. I've got all the brands, isn't that awesome? Anyway, I've come up with a cool way to show how each one of these string trimmers works and how much power they have. Let me show you that. So I got a little crazy in my lab and I built something that I like to call the grass guillotine. Check it out, it's right here, right there. The reason why I built this guy is I want everything to be equal. I'm using the exact same cardboard, I'm using the exact same string with all string trimmers, all batteries are charged, everything's cool, everything's equal. So what we're gonna see here is really the true power of each string trimmer. You can't really do that with real grass. That's why we're using cardboard. Let's get to it. All right guys, it is time to do some damage. Let's kill this thing. Let's start with this still 36 volt string trimmer. Next up is this Ryobi 40 volt string trimmer. The next string trimmer we're gonna test is this Ego 56 volt auto load carbon fiber string trimmer. The next string trimmer up is the 60 volt green works. Time to test the Milwaukee 18 volt string trimmer. Last but not least is this Dewalt Flex Fault. This is a 20 volt, 60 volt model. Oh. 
All right, guys, it has been a very busy morning. I finished testing all six of these string trimmers. Let's go back to the lab and make sense of these results. All right, guys, we are doing this. This is the wrap up. So today we went out to measure power of these string trimmers. But as we are running those tests, I noticed that some of them did an advanced line really well. So it doesn't matter how much power they had if there's no line. You can have millions of horsepower, no line, no string trimming, right? Very simple. So 3D string trimmers struggle to load string. That is these guys over here. I'm talking about the Dewalt, the Still, and the Greenworks. Although the Greenworks had power, it just didn't have any string. Like I said, that doesn't help you. Three of the string trimmers did really well. That's these guys over here, the Ego, the Milwaukee, and the Ryobi at the bottom of the list. It did advance string, but it didn't have as much power as the Ego and the Milwaukee. Now, Oddly enough, those results really closely match the results I got from the string load test. If you wanna see that video right down below where I actually loaded string in these guys. And that doesn't surprise me because these guys, the ones with the auto loads, the easy loads, they're the second generation heads. They're easy to load and probably while they were designing them, they were thinking about advancing string. So it all makes sense. Anyway, hopefully that helps you. Here's my review of all the products and this is the ratings I give them. They're just my ratings based on my little test here. Anyway, that's it for now. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content. If you want notifications, make sure you hit the bell. You gotta hit the bell for the notifications. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. I'll see you around real soon.